and welcome to LaSalle High School in Miami, Florida for the first annual Hoops Familia and 305 Sports All-Star Game Classic. My name is Daniel Torres alongside my partner Isaac Gomez. We have a good one in store this afternoon, Isaac. Yes, sir. Some of South Florida's best high school talent is here today and I'm excited, man. How about you, Danny? Oh, I'm excited. It's, it's a great... Oh, nice little putback. It's a great... Hopefully it's a fun high-scoring game uh, today. Hey, man, that's what all-star games are all about. Yep. Three-point shot. And Bang good. Dead. We'll probably be seeing some of that, too. We saw some dunks earlier to start off the game. And so maybe some defense. Look at that steal. Right down. That was a brutal little uh, tomahawk jam right there. Show out. Um, for his high school for Forest Hill and uh, he caught 15 passes for 332 yards and four touchdowns and, a, and he led the Scots to a 3A title uh, championship in 2019-2020. And then next Isaac we have James Henderson 6'8 out of Westminster Christian led the Warriors to a 15-5 and record in the 20 to have this game with everything Absolutely. that's gone on we've, we've made some progress we're we're seeing the, the light at the end of the tunnel. We're almost out of the woods here with this pandemic. And we hope everyone's staying oh, safe. Oh, that was a tough block. But, uh, Fire to a Class 7 a uh, state championship game. A true slasher for the Panthers. And then next we have Matthew Robinson Jr., a top player for the 14-8 and eight Western High School team that won the Class A uh, Region 4 championship. When he led them with a season high that was 18 points in the 88th University of Maine at Augusta, Maryville College, and North Country. And then the final two players on this roster is Dominic Nelson from Archbishop Carroll, transferred to ACC after playing at Terra, led Archbishop Carroll to an 11 and 7 record, which included a trip to the 3A Region 4 Championship, hit a buzzer beater three pointer to eliminate Westminster Christian in the regional quarterfinals, which I'm sure that James Henderson is not very happy about. And the fact they're on the same team, it'll make things a little interesting. They can yeah. be friends for one day. Yeah, for, for one quick game at least. And then, finishing We have uh, Jordan Hins. Yes, sir. Representing Cypher. Resume there for the team captain. And then Ryan Sanchez from Matter Academy. He led the Lions to the 21 and three. Reader points. Uh, well, as, as a sophomore uh, to senior year. Not participating, he was on the roster, but not participating in this afternoon's matchup is Reggie Lewis from my alma mater, Christopher Columbus High School, sent yep. me a text message this morning that he would not be able to participate due to an injury. So he is not in the game today, I repeat. He also had a very impressive uh, resume. It's uh, unfortunate that Reggie could not be here today. Yeah, I mean, you can't blame him, though. Uh, you know, this is this is an all-star game with a lot of talent. But, of course, you don't, you don't want to risk uh, further injury, especially when you've committed um, already. And then next after that, he's a uh, 17-5 and five record. He scored 31 points and 59% shooting uh, from the field in the win over your uh, Columbus Explorers. How do you feel about that, Danny? Oh, man. Uh, Put me on the skirt. I mean, uh, uh, all-star game. That's right. No nerves. I mean, you're, you're at home. You're, nice you're little pull-up jumper. Now turnover. This is what I think. There's a fourth turnover. Oh, even. Try to oh, go. Man. Try to go for the the windmill slam. Right. They're just family and close friends of the players. Yep. They must be so excited to see their their uh, whether it's their you know their kids or. And hopefully you know as this continues we can we can have more people in the stands for for a Absolutely. game like this. It can lead to scouts being at this game. Absolutely. Oh, oh man. Nice, nice little hezzy. Yeah. This is a tough shot from the corner. And it's good. He got the lucky bounce there. Oh, that that's time. that. You call that a Kawhi Leonard <laughs> roll off the basket. That's right. Oh, oh, man. He went for the poster. And I love it. This is an all-star game. You know, I'm sure there's not a whole lot of defense, but these guys are oh, and he gets flying the and throwing it down. Going to be seeing some definitely some cool highlights today. This is exactly what you want to see from these kids. It's just out here having fun. Yeah. To where the big man in now any college, high school, NBA, now has to learn how to shoot threes. Yeah, like a Joel Embiid. It's good to see that. 
uh, Donovan Draper just checked back into the ball yep. game. This is Hines inside. Oh, good. Oh, Draper picks it up, puts it back in. Yep. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. <laughs> nice steal. Some good Almost picked off. Hustle on defense there. There's a lot. Leads to the log. To the yep. Nice bounce pass. And he's got the space and he takes advantage of it guys have. They could just throw it up from anywhere on the court. You know, interesting story about coming up short on the three-pointer. It was uh, oh, nice. Kobe Bryant, uh, rest in peace, obviously, before he can reach the basket and hit those shots. Yeah, that's, that's what you realize. Like, the, a lot of the power comes from your legs. And maybe you can have the best shooting form in the world, but if your legs don't have the strength to really put those uh, deep shots, it's just not going to go in That sometimes. is why. You know, you see in the gym, you see all... This is Ryan Sanchez with the basketball. Oh, and he's good on that one. Yep. He had a hand in his face and everything. A little floater. A little teardrop there. Put back is good. That's what I like to call the little Chris Paul floater. Yep. Oh, oh, that's an awesome dunk right there. Hammered it home. That defender wanted no part of that either. Oh, Woo! oh nice little lob. And here's Hines. And did that count? Heard right on time. Here's a lob. Nice. Nice. Nice little corner three. Team Minot gets the rebound. Ooh, oh, and that was right through the legs, that too. That was nasty. That was nasty. The D Wade, though. Love that guy. That's Miami's adopted son. He just bought a, a stake in, in Utah, Utah Jazz, Jazz yeah. ownership. Yeah, we'll see what he does with that as we get a quick three. Oh, nice. I mean, if it was me, it's just, I better get out of the way. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm dunking. <laughs> Maybe the refs might give a little leverage Ooh. today, too, as that was a nasty, nasty dunk right there. Will he finish? Doesn't get the finish there. That's what I want to see. Okay, I see that. Throws a lob. There's another yes. lob, and that's good. That's what it's all about. It's all about having fun, even up here in the broadcast booth. Just have a little fun yeah. with it. I think the players might have heard you. As that Ooh. is a four-point play, or could be a four-point play. Hits the three and banked it in with the foul. Count it. Oh, okay. off the backboard. Okay, oh, but no good. I like the idea. I like the idea too. Oh man, it's just dunk after dunk. Yeah, these players definitely heard you that last break. I do right now. Both teams being very aggressive with the three ball, with the dunks. You love to see it. Driving through traffic, it gets great steal off. by Mr. Southwest. Oh man, nice little layup too. Oh no, he just threw it right over him. <laughs> he gets his own. Yeah. <laughs> nice little left hand scoop there. Scoop way up there. From Team Arturo Dean. Oh man, and it's just back and forth at this point. Team Minot down with another alley oop. And bombs down the court, <laughs> looking like Aaron Rodgers. Oh, sorry, any Green Bay Packers fans. Sorry about that. Had to bring that up. <laughs> that layup's no good. Two points there. And it was great to see the draft that was put on by 305 Sports to see that these two captains pick their players, almost like the NBA All Star Game with Team LeBron. Yeah. yeah, they could have easily just picked the. Yeah, but they they actually decided to have a little bit of fun and. That's a big three-pointer right there, or two-pointer. Oh, oh, oh man. He, he, oh, kind of work his dribbles. Foul. Count it. And one. 
and also 6.4 assists. So he can rebound, he can get those defense and offensive rebounds, but he can also pass. And that's, a, that's an awesome three right there from the three the free throw line. You see guys kind of slow down a bit here. Yeah. Yeah, just earlier in the before the break, but they just seem to be working that ball inside and that's what's working for them right now. Yeah, they've been able to and there's Justin Huey posting up and Yeah, he's starting to, to get hot. In. He's really starting to get hot for them. Uh, the home team. Wow. That's it good. Off Do you think you can get up there, Danny? Uh, no. <laughs> Maybe for a header, but... Nice little jam for Team Minot there. Let's see what he does here. Maybe a little one-on-one -on -one oh, okay. action. Okay, okay. Nice. Gets him. And oh, the that's too easy. Slam. He hangs there, too, looking like Adebayo. <laughs> it's right back at you from the home team. He's there. Yeah. He was able to blow by his defender. Nice shot. That's a. There's Draper from the corner. And he can do that. Shooting. Predicted, which was Houston. I had predicted Houston to win the NCAA tournament. I was knocked out in the final four. So I was mm. close. Oh, I nice. Did have more wins than Steven, though. Nice outlet pass down low for the two hand slam. 96-91 ball game. It's like Team Dean just looks for a little bit more one-on-one -on -one, uh, type plays, while Team Minot just seems to be sharing the ball just a little bit more with the, the lobs and the, whether it's a layup or a dunk. Well, I, I can tell you, we saw that period of oh, nice we idea. see another pass. Sizing up his guy. He wants it. He's gonna drive in. Gets blocked from behind. And this is Chris Walker out of the Wellington High. He loses the basketball, gets it back. Spin move. Scoop layup for the He's score. Got it. That one's no good. Oh, oh man. Just short on the dunk. He's able to make that extra pass play down a little bit, find the lane just like that, yeah, and they, take advantage. Yeah, home team really starting to pull yeah. away now. Because that's a quick two as well, it's a fast break. Here we go, Mimi recovers that basketball, pushing it forward. Three-pointer, good, bang. Nice. Wide open three. Oh, and gets that Kawhi roll again. Yeah, gets that easy little roll back. Yeah. Championship. Oh, 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 nice oh. little switch. Too. Okay, yeah, little Michael Jordan up yeah, and over. Yeah, from left to right. Way to finish. And you've noticed the players are starting to pick it up, too. Yeah, dying moments of, of the ball game gotta, gotta show up. Yep. Just about 20 seconds to the end of this one. Made away no good there. Fell short. Oh, put back. A nice little put back. 18 seconds. Here we go. Nice right. big three from Arturo Dean. 8.5 left. The home team trying to just dribble it out here. Nope. We'll see a quick three. That one goes out of bounds, so Team Dean gets a Another opportunity here. And there's the buzzer. That's the it. The first annual Hoops Familia and 305 Sports All-Star Game Classic is in the books. Team Minot, the home team with the victory over Team Arturo Dean.